Okay, good afternoon, uh, all the fellow Europeans. We will start the uh, post-coffee break uh, session I, by telling you that, unfortunately, uh, Ms. Kristina Galak uh, uh, Figures couldn't uh, join us uh, today, but uh, she is sending her warm greetings and uh, a wish that sustainable development goals and um, UN agenda could become closer also to European Rural Parliament uh, agenda. Uh, just to wake you up to this uh, next session that is very much on the uh, key results and impact of European Rural Parliament. What is our message? What is our rural citizens' message to European institutions? I would like to come back some, uh, to some key figures that we have just heard. Uh, even though 56% actually live in uh, European rural areas, only 22% of their structural funds are coming to rural areas, what we heard from the panel. Uh, which is quite uh, new information also, also for me, even though I have been looking at uh, European uh, rural policy making for 20 years. And uh, then OECD uh, policy analysts are always talking about uh, why 25% of the richest farms in the EU get 75% of the CAP payments. And uh, also we have to bear in mind that uh, only 3% of European farms own 50% of European farmland. So with these figures in our minds, we can bear in mind uh, the wish of the panel for a radical change, and that the radical change can be a law of uh, tomorrow. So when yesterday I started by uh, talking about uh, oldest parliament in the world and uh, Alting uh, initiated by Vikings, we maybe have to come back to a little bit more of the battle feature of the Vikings as well. So with these uh, words, I would like to welcome Mr. Kim Smetslund, who is the Secretary General of PREPARE and uh, also International Coordinator of Finnish Willis Movement to guide us through the message uh, session. Let's be battling. Yeah.